Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is test ng and what is its use? Let me answer. First of all, test ng is a unit testing framework. To get started, I am calling the test ng as a unit testing framework. But by the end of this session, I will call it properly. Okay. I'll call it with a different name. Why and uh, how I am going to call that test ng at the end? Let's keep that suspense. Okay. To get started, I'll call the test ng as most of the people call test ng as a unit testing framework. We'll redefine this uh, thing by the end of the session. Okay. So next thing ng in test ng stands for next generation. Okay. So in test ng, test next generation. ng stands for next generation. It is a next generation unit testing framework. Okay. And this unit testing framework known as test ng can only be used with which programming language? It can only be used with Java programming language. Okay. So there are different programming languages in the market. Okay. But with all the other programming languages, we cannot use test ng for unit testing purpose. We cannot use uh, test ng with other programming languages like C sharp and Python. So there are other unit testing framework for this language. For example, for C sharp, we have to use n unit. Okay, the famous one we have for C sharp is n unit unit testing framework. For Java, already I told you, right? You can use test ng as a unit testing framework for Java programming language here. So Java test ng is there. Along with test ng, we have another unit testing framework known as JNIT. Okay, but test ng is kind of powerful than JNIT. Okay, a lot of people use test ng or JNIT for Java programming language. Then we have Python. For Python, we have PyTest as a unit testing framework. Then for JavaScript, we have Jasmine. Okay. So these are the popular programming languages and uh, their associated, you know, unit testing framework. So Java is only, uh, sorry, test ng is only for Java programming language. For other programming languages, we have other unit testing frameworks. So how test ng came into existence and all? You see, the one who was uh, using JNIT and NUNIT, unit, right? Uh, that person felt like uh, there are some limitations in this uh, JNIT and NUNIT, and uh, by but but that person is inspired. Okay, that person uh, okay is inspired by JNIT and NUNIT and would like to create you know a more better unit testing framework than JNIT and NUNIT and uh, to solve the limitations which are there in this uh, unit testing framework. So came up with this new unit testing, new next generation unit testing framework uh, known as test ng, okay? So, but test ng got inspired, got created after getting that, after that particular person got inspired by JNIT and N unit and, would, uh, and thought of solving the limitations in this uh, previous unit testing framework like JNIT and N unit, okay? That's how test ng came into existence. Now, developers use test ng for automating the unit tests, okay? First of all, what are unit, what is unit testing? You see, the entire piece, entire code that is written by the developers for developing a software can be broken down into smallest chunks, okay, which cannot be broken further. That smallest chunks which cannot be broken further can be called as unit. That piece of that piece of code, okay, which is uh, which cannot be broken further, which I'm calling as small chunks, which cannot be broken further, we can call them as units, okay. That unit pieces of uh, code, okay, which cannot be broken further. If they are tested independently, okay. If you break the entire application code into multiple units, which cannot be broken further, and if you are testing that unit separately, that is called as unit testing. To automate this unit testing, developers will use a framework known as test ng. Okay. In case of the programming languages Java, definitely developers are going to use uh, the next generation unit testing framework test ng. So fine, okay. And uh, first level of testing automation, why I'm saying that is uh, you are not automating the UIs, but you are automating the unit tests, okay? With the help of the test in unit testing framework, developers will generally do that, not software testers, okay, in real time. Now, testers also will use test ng, but not for automating the unit test. Instead, testers use test ng for automating, okay? While automating the UI automation test or API automation test and mobile automation test, testers will choose test ng, okay? While developers will use test ng, unit testing framework for automating the unit test, but testers, software testers will use test ng uh, uh, for automating the UI test, API test and mobile test, okay? Mobile automation test. You see for UI automation, we have very good uh, tool in the market automation tool that is called Selenium, okay? We can use uh, this test ng along with Selenium for UI testing automation. Similarly, we have very good automation tool in the mar market for mobile automation that is APM. So we have to, we can use test ng along with 
APM for mobile testing automation and uh, for uh, API automation, we have a good tool in the market, rest assured for automating the API tests, we can use uh, TestNG with the rest assured and so on, okay? So, and TestNG on the top of this, TestNG is, uh, is free and open source, okay? You don't have to pay any license amount or single buck, okay? You don't have to pay even a single buck uh, for, uh, you know, downloading or in installing or using TestNG. And it's also open source, okay? The code that is written for developing this TestNG by the developers of the TestNG is open in public, okay? You can download the code, you can access the code, you can view the code, okay? You can work towards the code also, fine. And TestNG is powerful than JNet. Here I already told you, right? Uh, uh, for Java programming languages, uh, Java programming language, there are two unit testing frameworks. Any of these things you can use, but TestNG is kind of uh, powerful than JNet. It's more better than JNet. Uh, JNet has some limitations, but uh, TestNG is kind of powerful and mostly used by the people in the market. So how TestNG is powerful than JNet? Okay. So JNet is mostly intended for unit testing, but doesn't support end-to-end -end test automation much, okay? I'm not saying that JNet cannot be used for end-to-end -end test automation like UI automation, mobile automation, API automation. It's not like that, okay? You can still use JNet for this end-to-end -end testing automation also, yeah, like UI automation, uh, that mobile automation, API automation. But the problem is it's not really designed for that, okay? It, it doesn't fully support, okay? It has some limitations. JNet has some limitations which will make us to choose TestNG over JNet, okay? Because of these limitations, we will choose TestNG over JNet because uh, TestNG is kind of powerful. Uh, JNet has some limitations in this kind of aspect where you want to automate some end-to-end -end test automation like your automation, uh, API automation, and mobile automation. We prefer to go with TestNG than JNet, but JNet also can do that, but it has some limitations that doesn't fully support, but TestNG fully supports this kind of end-to-end -end testing automation like UI, mobile, and API automations, okay? So, and uh, now let's understand uh, what is the use of this uh, TestNG, okay? What are the use and uh, I can explain here. TestNG has ability to write more flexible and powerful tests than JNet and uh, what are the uses of TestNG? You can see it here. TestNG is very easier to use, okay? Uh, the way, uh, while using TestNG, right, you will feel that uh, it's kind of easier to use and uh, easy annotations. The naming conventions followed, uh, okay? While uh, in the test engine annotation, there are different test engine annotations like at the rate test, at the rate before method, at the rate after method, the naming conventions are appropriately given, okay? So easy to understand annotations are there, then grouping, okay? Grouping, we can group the uh, tests into a particular category, like uh, a particular amount of tests, we can move into the smoke testing category. Uh, there are some attributes like group groups attribute in uh, test engine using which we can group them, okay? Sequencing. We can prioritize the test, like which test uh, method should run first, which test method should run next. So there's separate attribute for that in TestNG for doing that. Parameterizing the test. Uh, you know, uh, for example, what is parameterization? Basically, apart from TestNG, if you go for some Java programming and you create some method, okay, if there is a method without uh, having any parameters and when you're calling the method, you don't have to pass any data, like arguments like that, you don't have to pass. But if there is another method which uh, index like two parameters, let's say, okay, and you have, while calling the method, you have to pass data to that, uh, you know, two parameters, okay? So like that, that is called as parameterization, parameterizing, okay? TestNG also will support the parameterization where you can pass the data to the test method, okay? So from externally, you can pass the data to the test methods, okay? From wherever you want, right? There are different ways to pass the data to these test methods from outside by simply creating the parameters and parameterizing it. TestNG supports that, okay? And not only that, uh, because of this parameterization possible in TestNG, it's also possible to perform data-driven testing, okay? So the same test method, if you want to run with multiple sets of data, okay? You don't have to create the same test method multiple times for each and every set of data. Rather, you will create only one test method. And when calling that method, you'll pass multiple sets of data. For every set of data in the multiple set of data, this particular same test method will run. So that is called as data-driven testing. Parameterization and data-driven testing are possible with the help of TestNG. Then uh, with TestNG, we can generate good good looking HTML reports, okay? When compared to JNet, uh, TestNG reports are better and more annotations are available. When compared to JNet, uh, TestNG has a good number of annotations, okay? Because of this, uh, having more, more number of annotations, we call TestNG is more flexible. Here I mentioned, right? Writes more flexible and powerful tests, okay? Why it's more flexible? Because it has a good number of annotations than JNet. And uh, just, uh, you know, the, whatever the limitations that are there in JNet, JNet, right, that are overcome by this test engine, okay? Some things which are not possible by JNet are possible with test engine, okay? 
like grouping, sequencing, parameterizing, generating better HTML reports than JNIT, more, more annotations for more flexibility of running of the tests and all, parallel execution, okay? Of tests is supported by TestNG, whereas in JNIT is not supported, okay? You can run the uh, automation test parallelly. At the same time, multiple tests can run. And we have listeners in test engine which are not there in JNIT. And listeners means, you know, whatever the test, uh, while running the test, some events will rise. Based on the event, some actions should be taken. Such actions, we can code it, okay, with the help of listeners, okay? In test engine, we have listeners which are not there in the JNIT. And many more, okay? So along with uh, how test engine is powerful than JNIT, I also explained what is what are the uses of the test engine. With these things, these are not only the advantages of test engine or JNIT, but also the uses, okay? Grouping of the test is possible with the test ng prioritization of or sequencing of the test is possible. Parameterizing of the test, data driven testing is possible with test ng. Generating HTML reports is possible. These are all the uses of test ng. Okay, annotations are available in test ng, and parallel execution is possible in test ng. Listeners configuring the listeners is possible in test ng. These are all the uses of test ng. Okay, here the uh, here the question here is interview question is what is test ng and what is it used. I explained what is test engine till here, but uh, here, these are the list of the users, okay? From here to here, these are the users, okay? So finally, we came to the last point where in the beginning I was uh, I was saying or, uh, okay, I was, say, I'm, I was saying or calling test engine as a unit testing framework, okay? To get started, I told you, but now I'm going to call that as a, not just a unit testing framework. Instead, I will be calling it as a testing framework. I should not restrict test engine for unit testing. It's not only for unit testing, but test engine can also be used for, it can also be used for unit testing, integration testing, end-to-end -end functional testing. What is end-to-end -end functional testing? We are automating these things, right? As part of end-to-end -end functional testing, we are doing this UI automation, mobile automation, API automation, okay? Not just developers are using the test engine for unit testing, automating their unit testing purpose. Rather, software tests are also using the test engine for UI, mobile, API automations, okay? Because of which, Test ng should not be only called as unit testing framework. If someone is calling that, you can also reframe that saying that it's not just a unit testing framework, but it is a testing framework. Okay. Testing means it's kind of generic, not only for unit testing, but also automating the integration test, automating the end-to-end -end or functional tests like UI, API, mobile, everything is possible with the help of with the help of test ng. Hence, test ng is a testing framework. Okay. So if someone asks you uh, what is test ng, then instead of saying the test ng is a unit testing framework. You can say that test ng is a testing framework. Okay, it's not just a unit testing framework, but it's a testing framework because it not only automates unit tests, but also it can automate the integration and end to end functional tests like API, mobile, and UI. Okay. So, like that, you have to give an explanation. So, hope guys, you got the answer for this question what is a test ng and what is its use in this session? So, that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye bye.